This is Sonic. Sonic um, ET474 signing in and logging back in. Oh, something I'll upgrade. Um, this is Sonic Adventure and it's got Space Channel Flying Crazy Taxi on the Xbox 360. Um, would I say this is better than Mega Collection? Um, yes. Why, I say? Because why would you want seven greatest hits on a and um, it's all 2D um, Sonic games um, basically with a modern Sonic work? I know that the disc is there. It is all right. It's great. I should be thankful for that. Black Knight Mantle. But this one I love the most because uh, the Sonic Adventure original title got back on the new look of the graphics. Yes, it's still Sonic DX, but at least it still uh, adds the original title Sonic Adventure. Well, and Crazy Taxi was good. But I didn't like the way they changed the music, but I still like it. It's still not as fun as it used to be, though. Uh, Space Channel 5. Hmm. I don't think I'm good at that game because the bashing, the Sega Mass Vision, or you can call it Crazy Taxi Mass Vision, what a joke if you like. But I love the Dreamcast. I, I, I love how they put the Dreamcast console and the controller, even though you can't use the controller, or can you? I'm not sure. But uh, Dreamcast, Xbox 360, man, they really, really went out on this one. This is my favourite on the GameCube though. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle with all the characters. I mean, actually, that's saying something. And Sonic Team and Sega. I don't like the idea it's licensed by Nintendo, but it probably mean like just to the GameCube um, for some reason. And then it got Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And I know it's a disc and they ignore that. That's not from the game. I was just randomly packed in there, someone left in there for me to record something. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This manual has colour. Now this is the only manual that will have colour in it because, you know, Chip the Kitten. Come on away from my DVDs and games. Right. This is also my favourite Sonic Gems collection. I reviewed it before. Said Sonic R was the best game. And uh, it is. I, I like the emeralds and stuff. So yeah, Sonic R gets a major 6 out of 10 because it has low ratings because the controls. But it is still one of the greatest games. I like Sonic Gems, but I only like it because Sonic R, my memory card for the GameCube. Sonic R, um, Sonic the Hedgehog with Met and Sonic. And that's it. Um, Chip, now come on. Oh, come on. Hey, uh, uh, uh. You can leave with me at some other. Oh well. Um, Sonic X. First anime to have 15 episodes, but this was only released in America. Uh, I, w I was so glad to get it, I was chuffed in it. It has, uh, you know, uh, and yeah, it says 13, is it 13 episodes, which is pretty good, and this one is good too, and, and uh, it's got this on you and stuff. Here's one with Sh Shadow and Sonic, and it's based on Sonic Adventure, and um, so I'll get to that. Sonic Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, better than the GameCube version that only had like seven games of Sonic, don't it? This one has the revelant of the Mega Drive games, and I love the PlayStation relook towards the Mega Drive, it's really good. <laughs> Play the originals like started it that started it all in now in HD. Well, I gotta say it, this was a lot better than Mega Drive collect collection. Um, see the difference? Is this really worth it with ten games with just a couple of random Sonic games when you can have a lot of Sega games? Like on PlayStation 3. This is also out on Xbox 360. 
Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a good game collection, best so far I've ever seen in the collection, compared to this one. I still think that's a better collection than that, but they could have at least brought more Dreamcast games out on it, like Sonic Venture 2, Shimano um, 1 and 2, and so on. This is called Sega All Stars Racing, Banjo and Kazooie and yeah, it's the 360 version so they added their own platform game character to it so basically it's you you can use your own avatars you can't on the PS3 I don't know why but this is a real real must play game and it really fits in once you get the um, when you use the avatars and the Sega All Stars set with the helmet and stuff with the actual gear of it which you can buy and download on the continent on Xbox Live um, I really like the disc layout, it's really cool just the sky it's the sky field um, thing um, not much like the Sherbet and all the others uh, yeah, basically it's basically this one didn't have much on it so maybe this one was a little cheap, I don't know. Um, basically, I love Sonic in in a car. You know, I think it's awesome that he's in this modern version. Unlike that Sonic Drift that sucked, this one is a lot better than Sonic Drift, in my opinion. And it's much more fun. They didn't add extra game characters, I, but I did like it for it, for it through. Um, and if you look at the back you'll see Tails, Sonic and all the others. They probably did as a way of apologizing um, about the game. Uh, so I wouldn't really recommend um, wouldn't recommend it all the time but I really think it's fun you know for multiplayer and stuff just like Mario Kart Wii over there and other th games um, yeah, it's me. yeah this this game on the GameCube was the only better Sonic Venture better than the DX Sonic I think it is but I did like this one because it had the Dreamcast title I really wish I could show you the Dreamcast version of the case but unfortunately it broke it's in bad shape so I can't Sonic Adventure, one of my favorite games that had adds on it. Um, oh yeah, and this this one is the anime of Sonic X Shadow and Rouge in the background, and it's got Sonic and Shadow, but no Chaos creature. I think they they forgot to add Chaos in the case. I put it inside out because I didn't want people to think that. But we, I was lucky to get these. And the American region one day of these. It's got Rue, Shadow, Eggman. Where's um, Chaos? I know I see him but there. But at least he could be entitled on some of these information at the top. Well, anyway, I love the story in this. First time I, I actually. Uh, I mean, the supersonic sequence is a lot better, and the anime is just, you know, epic. Straight through forward, I give Sonic X 10 out of 10, and I give them all a 10 out of 10, because Jason Griffin makes a better voiceover than G. White. No offense, people, but I really do prefer him. G. White was okay, but come on, Britain. You really want to see a Steve D like this? And to be honest, you can't beat this collection. Way to go, America. You guys, you get this. But best British are lacking the DVDs. I mean, really lacking. Lacking behind. We need these DVDs, but they won't bring them out. Fortunately, we only had two episodes, and that was it on Sonic X. They really, really wanted to put us through, you know, Cockney thing. Well, sayonara, see you.